Hey everybody, Brock Boyd, CMI. And today I wanna to talk to opportunity seekers about non-competes. And there's a lot of elements to consider when it comes to a non-compete and, and going to work for a company where you think you may be pursued by your former employer over your non-compete. Um, first and foremost, wanna give the disclaimer, this is not legal advice. Certainly contact an attorney in the space and get legal advice. Um, but I'm just gonna offer some input and some things to think about and consider when you're in that situation. And the main thing is you wanna find out what the historical trend is with your company going after ex-employers over non-compete. If they historically don't do it, there's good reason to believe that they may not pursue you. If they historically do go after people for non-compete issues, there's good reason to believe that they are gonna go after you. And the second thing is, it's a good thing to bring up with your soon to be employer, let them know you have a non-compete, let them see it. And honestly ask them if they've been through this situation with anyone else. Have they hired anyone from your same company or have they hired anyone with a similar non-compete? And how did the situation play out? And what part did they play in that overall situation? And finally, a lot of this is this is something you can attempt to negotiate a lot of companies might say no to this but you can certainly ask if the company if you were to be in receipt of a legal letter basically saying you're in defiance of your non-compete and they're seeking legal remedies or trying to stop you from working at your new company will your new employer have their attorney respond on your behalf so that it basically looks like your new employer is becoming your lawyer uh, in, to some degree and, and or you know having your back from a legal standpoint. And I would say that the difference between a company getting a response from another company versus the company getting a response from you or a solo attorney that you've hired is a pretty night and day difference. So a lot of companies may not be game for doing it, but it's worth asking the question, um, you know, to what degree would they be willing to back you up and, and in what ways would they be willing to back you up if your former employer comes after you over a non-compete. It's just a good discussion to have and walk into that situation with eyes wide open. And if it turns out that they say, yeah, actually, as soon as you come work here, our lawyers become your lawyers, at least in that scenario, and we will have our lawyers draft a response to whatever was written and sent to you, that creates a, quite a different scenario than if you're spawning yourself or through a solo attorney that it, you know it's clear that you hired on your own. So just some uh, quick input and two cents and things to think about in terms of non-competes. That's it for this week. Happy hunting.